maybe even before. So I don't know if you know Lynette, but she's sort of like, so what, you know, what are you, what are you working on? And at one point, are you going to be teaching your stuff? And I sort of was like, mm, I don't know yet. You know, I just kind of figured it would happen naturally. And I, I didn't kind of, I just sort of, I feel like I've just been waiting. Like, oh. mm. and, you know, slowly like, oh, that's an interesting thing I did. Huh, what was that? You know, and just sort of freeing myself and letting myself kind of do now what I want to do. Yeah. So do you um, really plan that or do you just kind of let that unfold during a class and see what it becomes? Or do you have a thought? Have you well, I would say it? My mat, like in my math class, I sort of, as I walk, as I take my 15 minute walk to, to teach class, I've been teaching for like 15 or 16 years. I have this thing where I'm like, okay, so what do I want to focus on today? And sometimes I have a very clear idea, like, okay, I really want to work on twisting. And then usually at, at the beginning of class, I say, okay, anybody want uh, any requests? And someone's like, arms. I'm like, okay. So, and then in my head, I'm like, okay, arms and twisting. And I kind of go mm -hmm. through my repertory and I have a couple things planned and then a couple of things. I'm just like, Ooh, here's an interesting transition. And then I, you know, so, so it's a little bit of both, a little bit of both. Yeah. Then, right. But that class. And then in my studio teaching, I think that I've been, um, it's a little bit of the same. It's like, okay, there's my routines that I have. And then I'm like, well, let me just insert this one thing. And then the third thing I think in that three part harmony is I'm looking to see what the body in front of me needs. Like I had yeah. this woman, yeah, I had this woman today and she, she was, a. Uh, Oh my God, she went to do a swan and she just like really like just bent at that like T12 junction. And I was like, whoa. And um, I was trying to find like ways to get her to support her spine without going into that spot. And she was funny. She was like, wow, you know, I didn't really, I don't think of myself as really flexible. I'm like, well, you're not, but in certain places you are. So then that's the sort of the other part where I sort of like, how does that, how does that person in front of me filter mm -hmm. into the other things that I'm looking at or playing with? And um, how do you navigate that when you are?